Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Alright, we're back. Let's talk to um Mario. I already forgot his name. Amazing. Wow. Here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey Ezio. Ezio! I see you've wasted Jesus. no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. Yep. What? It's true. <laughs> Walk with me. Yes, uncle. A change of plans. Learn about the villa and discover the codex pages hidden there. Wow, thank you for spoiling what we're gonna do. <laughs> pass the answer to another. A Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe and leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes, and he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right, that's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. Is that where the we're going? My uncle gave me. Oh, okay. Uh, how do I do this? Like that. There you go. Because I'm using this the PS4 Francesco. controller. Now, it kind of seems like this was completely unnecessary and I'm probably not going to leave this uh, in the episode because this just says that he has daddy issues. <laughs> okay, that was... okay. I didn't need to know any of that. I really didn't. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Can we talk? There you go. I'm not forgetting buttons. What are you talking about? Never Look happened familiar? to me. On their codex pages. Yes, your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. Dead. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits and we'll add it to the wall. Alrighty, then we got another mission, another objective. Basically, like, the whole game starts up with you collecting as much shit as possible to do, like, overall during your adventure as Edio Auditore. And I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, I fucking love it. Where, where the fuck am I going? Oh, wait. Oh, viewpoint. Okay, so I guess we're going to the viewpoint. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, do some barcoo! Alright, nice. God, the villa looks pretty good in the dark. Well... Yeah, it actually does. This specific building actually looks much better than the rest of the city, but... I mean, no shit, this is where you spend most of your time when you're in this particular area of the game. Okay, let's do this. Synchronize. Oh, God. Got so many memories about this place, man. What? Collect the four philosophical codex pages, so they're philosophical. I mean, yeah, that's what Altair was, actually, if you think about it. Like, the whole first Assassin's Creed was about the Assassin's philosophy. <laughs> Woo! Alright, so... I've got a codex page here. What? Where are they just randomly codex pages? Here in... Our city. Our fortress, I guess? Yeah. That's not weird at all. 
Hello, human. Hello, human. Wow, it will increase my maximum health. Where, where the fuck is the feather? I'm seeing a Ah, oh, it's inside the garden building. I'm dumb. Fuck. Fuck a dick. Okay. Is that a codex page? Statuettes? Mars and Venus, the god of rage and strength, bar basks in his lover's radiant beauty. She tames his anger with her gentle touch. Okay. Um, I guess I don't have those. Otherwise, I think it would have been there. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, so where the fuck is the codex pages? Okay. Uh, hopefully the map will tell me. Yay, I can see it over there. Oh boy, that's gonna... <laughs> ow. I feel like I should remove the updates because that those notifications are kind of fucking annoying and the, the, it removes the whole purpose of me not having like the rest of the interface but I don't know we'll see we'll see in the future if it's as annoying as it is okay let's skip uh, this part let's just cut to where I'm gonna get the fucking pages what no oh fuck me really you're gonna make me go there Oh my fucking god, game. Alright, that is that is a dick move if I've ever seen one. Okay, alright, alright. Oh my fucking god, I do go around the fucking tree. Jesus Christ. I remember the first time I actually saw that I tried to run there. <laughs> god, it took me so long to get to that fucking codex page. Oh, that was disgusting, man. Oh, thank God I know to use the fucking horses this time around. Oh, there's a horse here. Oh my God. They probably were like, yeah, people are probably gonna try to climb the fucking wall. And they're gonna fall and almost die. And then they're gonna fucking run all the way here. Because I remember that's what I did, so... Yeah. <laughs> thank God you were so smart. <laughs> Because clearly I was not at the time. Alright, let's go back to Claudia. Alrighty, we're here. Okay, I guess Claudia is taking some work here. Let's talk. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. <laughs> What's happened? <laughs> He's making me work. If father what was here, dick. I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. <laughs> Monteregioni. Alright, so yeah, this is another part that was added to this game. Well, to the Assassin's Creed formula where you have like your, I guess, home base and then you keep upgrading it. And honestly, I love it. I don't know why no one, anyone not would love it. Fucking guy, I know how to speak English, shut up. Alright, so, maybe we could upgrade something? Okay, so this is a summary. What is the chest? Ah, okay. So I can collect money right now, but there's nothing in it. Okay. So, what can we upgrade? Can we... We actually cannot do shit. Because this is not where you upgrade, I forgot. Uh, by the way, I never came to her to like look at that screen. That's why I was. Uh, that's why I was a little bit confused because usually I just clear up to come to this guy. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Vilzakit. Sir Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money, eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Sir Ezio. Am I right? Uncle. I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, <laughs> I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. 
If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit. I wonder who was that grand, 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 grandfather. So, let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Jesus Christ, you made me barf. Okay, art merchant. Okay, so yeah, it's just a bunch of shit we can upgrade. I mean, I really do like that they have like this miniature fucking map of Monterey Joni, that's pretty nice. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Let's open up the mines, bruh. For no apparent reason. <laughs> and the bordel, because why not? I mean... <laughs> it's only why yes. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Are we done? This, this is kind of a short full episode. Let's make it a little bit longer, because we didn't kind of do shit. Alright, let's talk to Mario. Oh, yes. It's you, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Dun dun dun! Secret passages with the fucking bookshelves that were clearly duplicated. I mean, the books positioning are exactly the same one, so we're uh, in all three shelves. So that's kind of a shame. All right, so where are we going? This is a secret and shit. Codex Walter with the decrypted codges. Yeah, oh, I know. We know. We know. We know that we need to place the codexes there. Alright. What's up, Mario? Will you bring me to the amazing place this is? This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I'd give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My well, great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. Hell yeah, well. It's interesting because this concept of like a hidden cool-ass In order cool to achieve perfect arc? synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. You done? You done, Rebecca? Alright. So, the thing is, is that... Also, are they all female? Okay, there you go, there are males here. Okay, so the thing is, is that this concept is gonna return in the future Assassin's Creed games, but it's never as well, like, presented, it's never as, like, as interesting, so it's... It comes back to be really boring in the future, except the Assassin's Creed 4, where it's actually done really, really well, but then it's the only fucking exception, the rest is kinda meh. Like, Rogue, I think, had that, I didn't give a shit, uh, Unity had that, I didn't give a shit, so... I don't know, Ma mainly because Unity actually had like puzzles to it and that was really fucking complicated. Alright, so... Who are you? Jesus. I actually wondered if we're gonna see um, the guy from Assassin's Creed Origins here, which I don't even have the name of, I don't remember. Kulangal. Huh, interesting. Who are you? Darius. you. Oh, I thought it was an Aginata for a second, I was like, yes! Arthur's armor is uh, lays behind that gate. Yes, I can see it. Yeah, I know. All right, who are you? Amunet. So you had a fucking snake, and you look like you were from Egyptian times, right? It definitely looks like it. Oh, it will be so dope if we see her in the Sasquatch Origins, man. Oh my god, it'd be so fucking cool. Iltani clearly was a alchemist or something, and you with a dagger. Leonis. Alright, alright, we're done here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Next time, I think we're gonna be heading to the previous city. And I guess I'll see you there, everyone. So thank you, everyone, so much for watching. My name is Artur, and I'll see you in the future.